So it has been quite a ride for the Packers when it comes to the wide receivers this offseason. Losing Devontae Adams with him being traded to the Las Vegas Raiders. At that point, we were all like, okay, what are the Packers going to do to fill the hole that Devontae Adams left and ensure that this Packers offense can still be successful while losing one of the best wide receivers in the game? So we saw Brian Gudikins come in, and first of all, he comes in, he picks up veteran wide receiver Sammy Watkins, which I think was a smart move considering we got him for pretty cheap. He could become a better receiver than he has been in the past. We've seen him recently struggle with injuries and not be able to really live up to his former self. But I think coming here to Green Bay, pairing up with Aaron Rodgers, there is this hope that maybe he can sort of resurge and revive his career here in Green Bay. Then, of course, we come in, draft Christian Watson, Romeo Dobbs, and Samori Torre. And this entire preseason and training camp has been the Romeo Dobbs show. He came in week one, started dominating, and sort of everyone around the league was like, okay, fourth rounder Dobbs is seemingly becoming one of the better wide receivers in Green Bay. And so with all this happening, there's still this idea or this discussion of who is going to be or who are going to be the top receivers here in Green Bay. Is Romeo Dobbs going to push his way ahead here and become one of the the starting wide receivers here in Green Bay? And yesterday in an Aaron Rodgers press conference, he had a some different things to say about who he currently expects to be the starters here in Green Bay. And I want to read that and then give my thoughts about it. But let me see if I can actually open my laptop here. There we go. Got it fixed. Okay, so this is what Rodgers had to say. He said the way that Sammy plays, he deserved to be in the first group in. The way Cobby's playing in camp deserves to be in the first group in. The way Allen's played when he's healthy deserves to be in the first group. So those are the guys I'm sure we're going to go with. We'll work in 87, Romeo Dobbs, and 9, Christian Watson, to start and go from there. So from that Rodgers quote, he's basically saying Sammy Watkins, Randall Cobb and Alan Lazard all deserve to be the first guys in. So even though Romeo Dobbs has shined in camp, it doesn't seem, at least in Aaron Rodgers' mind, that he should be one of the guys to start out here at wide receiver, but he said they will work those guys in. So it seems like week one versus the Vikings, when the Packers start out having three wide receivers out there, it's probably going to be Sammy Watkins and Alan Lazard on the outside, and then Randall Cobb playing the slot role, which I think makes sense. You have these guys who are veterans here, Alan Lazard, who I think has the biggest opportunity to lead the Packers in receiving yards right now, just because he is the most, um, you know, has the most time, has the most trust and chemistry with Rodgers. And then we have Sammy Watkins, who has been playing very well, according to Rodgers in training camp. And I'll read a quote from yesterday as well from Aaron Rodgers about Sammy Watkins. And he said this, I'll tell you what, ever since the Saints practice, the first one, Sammy has been a different player. He's been super reliable. Every practice he's made a bunch of plays today made a bunch of plays again. So I still believe that Romeo Dobbs is going to be a very productive player here in Green Bay, but Sammy Watkins is going to get every opportunity to be one of the starters here, one of the guys who gets, I'd say, a majority of the snaps here in Green Bay. We'll see what happens because let's say Romeo Dobbs gets subbed in whenever he does get subbed in, maybe quickly. Who knows? We'll see week one. But if he comes out here and starts playing as he has, as we've seen him play in preseason, having lots of big, memorable plays, if he comes in and starts doing that, and he's playing better than, let's say, Sammy Watkins. I wouldn't be surprised if Dobbs took over for Sammy Watkins. But right now, just because Sammy Watkins, he's a veteran, he knows what he's doing, probably more so than a guy like Romeo Dobbs. And even though Dobbs may be, you know, the fresh young talent who seems like the sky's the limit for him, um, it may take some time for him to get worked in and become one of the focal points on this Packers offense. I definitely think it's possible this season, but we'll see if he's able to work his way there. But right now, it does seem like Sammy Watkins, Lazard, and Randall Cobb are going to be the guys starting here in Green Bay, which I do think makes sense. But honestly, right now, looking at this Packers offense, I'm very excited and very hopeful for what we can become and what we can be this year. And this entire offseason, we've been speculating as to how good is this offense going to be. And finally, in what, 10 days from now, the Packers have their first preseason, or not preseason, we had that already, have their first actual game versus the Vikings, which we'll finally sort of get to see everything put together and we'll see exactly what the Packers look like at least in week one. So I'm pumped about that, but that is all I wanted to share with you guys. Thank you for watching. If you haven't followed me on Twitter, Luke underscore Beller on Twitter. If you'd like to subscribe to my Packers email newsletter, link down below. I put out a Packers Q&A there yesterday. So if you would like to read that, go click the link down below and you can check that out. But thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll see you guys next time.